Hey guys, Mario here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to replace the the cluster gauge lights on a 99 through 2004 Chevy Silverado. Pretty simple. And here's how you do it. And the tools you'll be doing for this process is a quarter inch ratchet, a 7 millimeter uh, socket with an extension. A pry bar per pry tool and a magnet. I also here have the LEDs I'll be using. You can either use those or these. First thing to do is to remove the trim panel. Easy. So what you want to do is take your pry bar and you just, I already have it cut open, but what you want to do is get in there and get the clips undone. And once you have a little crack open like that, all you want to do is slit your fingers in there and it should come right out. Once you have this, you really can't get it out because the, the handle's in the way. So what you have to do is turn the key on, put it on drive or something like that. So now it has open space to get it out. So lean it forward. And boom. And there you have it. Put it back in park. Now we have to take off four bolts. Pretty easy. One's at one corner, one's right there below it, one on the other side, right there, and right there. So we're gonna take our seven millimeter socket extension and ratchet and take them off. I like to do whenever I'm taking the bolts off to make it easy for me I take off the ratchet off the extension and I just stick it in there and twist it so because the, so the ratchet can't do it and uh, after that you get it loose enough when it's about to fall out you get your magnet and you just stick it on there and boom you got it so it won't fall off in a crack or you know get lost. Yeah, so you just repeat that same process for the rest of the three remaining bolts and I went ahead and got them done. So let's get this thing out of here. So removing the cluster is pretty easy. All you gotta do is turn the truck on standby, put it on drive, holding the brake of course, and you grab your cluster, lean it back, and back here you see a pin how to turn the truck off but to take it out it's easy all you gotta do is squeeze out on this top piece right here and you can see it right here where it was hooked up right there you squeeze the bottom two pieces together and it should come off and you just pull off and boom bench uh, now we have to take off this back plate to get to the access to the LEDs which are right here. Those are the sockets that are holding them in. And get in the bottom. Boom. Like so. It's hard doing this. Like that. And that's. And you get the one in the corner. Like so. And just like that. Oh, wait, I forgot. So y'all can see the reason why I'm doing this how-to video, because, look at this. Well, this tape. Man. Pitiful. So it's pretty simple to take these lights out. 
all you have to do is grab it, twist it, and pull. Pretty easy. So it's pretty easy to change out the light. All you gotta do is take the light and stick it in there, like so. And take it over here on your area. Line up the connector and twist it back into place. And boom, you have it. You have the light chains. Now we're gonna test it before we put everything back together so we'll know it's working. And to test if your lights are working, it's pretty simple. You take your cluster, slip it where you're gonna have access to the socket and the cluster at the same time. <clears throat> you slip it back in there where it clicks and you turn the truck on. And there they are. You don't notice it because it's daytime, but here they are, lit up. And guys, to revert to put them back in, it's easy. Just revert the process. Just don't forget to put the back cover back on. I've done that before, and I had to take it all out and put it back in again. So just don't forget to do that, guys. And thanks for watching. Peace.